When I got the word that Peter Marshall, the original master of the Hollywood Squares, was going to be our center square for a week, I thought, what a wasted opportunity if we just let him sit cozily in the center square. <laughs> so I asked Peter a question, which I'll recreate for you now. Peter, you ready to retake the podium? No, I'm not. <laughs> okay, what the hey? <laughs> yeah? Yeah, why not? Thank you, and welcome to the Hollywood Squares. Hello, stars. Hello, Peter. Good to see each and every one of you. I don't touch that dial. This is not the Game Show Network. No. <laughs> uh, it's me after 102 years. I would I'd like to meet our current champion. Uh, this is uh, it's Diana. That's correct. Uh, what's your last name? Dale. And you, well, I saw you. I was in the center square. I watched you in a car yesterday. Yes, I did. Uh, we'll find out a little more about Diana a little later on. We're meeting a, a new challenger here. I'm Mr. X. It's a gentleman from El Cajon, California. Let's say hello to Steve. Is it polite? Yes, sir. Steve, nice to see you. Nice to see you. Object for the players to get three stars in a row, either across them and down diagonally. It's up to them to figure out the stars, give you a correct answer, making one up. That's how they get the squares. The game is worth a th thousand dollars. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> uh, times have changed. You are the challenger. Hey, good luck to both of you. I want you to pick a star. Good luck. Uh, Tom Bergeron, please. Oh, right, right there. Yeah. On here, Peter. <laughs> I thought you looked familiar. Yes, yeah. yes. According to Reuters, Reuters, you know Reuters. Reuters, sure. Yeah. Yeah. If a dog uses a high-pitched, unevenly placed bark, what is it telling you? That that would tell you that Bob Barker is at the front door with a pair of clippers, Peter. All right. Wings barking at me. Oh God. <laughs> No, I, that's actually, uh, that's a warning bark. That's, uh, that's a stay away. <laughs> stay away bark. I agree. No, it wants to play. Yeah, it wants to play. A break for our, cha our champion here. So I can circle there And Diane Champion two in a row here. Martin Moe, please. Mr. Moe. Hi, Peter. It's been a while. <laughs> and a survey by the National Safety Council. Mm -hmm. Are you more likely to die from choking, drowning, or poisoning? I think so. Um, <laughs> so we need one of the least other. That's what I tell myself every time I light up. <laughs> oh, I, I would think probably choking. Choking. I'll agree. Nope, it's poisoning, then drowning. Choking came in third, pay 280. Okay, a break for you. <laughs> Come the next day. Uh, Kathy one. Griffin, please. Kathy, my darling Kathy. Here we go. This is very important here. Now listen carefully. Okay. Why can't historians locate anything actually dated 1 B.C.? Because that was so 2003 years ago. <laughs> Over. Um, all right. I would say historians can't locate that because um, it's stuff that's eroded by now. I disagree. Good for you. It's because no one knew who Christ was. Uh, how could they have dated 1 B.C.? So we put an X there and over here to uh, our champion. Go ahead, Dan Dinah, from the start. Wink Martindale for the block. And my buddy, the Winker. The Winker. Here we go. What are you if you're a virtue, a throne, or a seraphim? Rod Roddy in a blue sequin coat. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sorry, Rod. He's not a virtue. Now, I happen, I happen to know this one, and I won't go into great detail, but the answer is simply a B, a B, double E, a B. A B. I disagree. You would be, and you are, darling, an angel. How darling. could you disagree yes, with okay. me? Put a circle there. Over to you, my friend. Uh, Chuck Woolworth for the block. Hey, Chuck. My 
job, buddy. What were Disneyland employees banned from wearing while on the job until March of 2000? I happen to know this. Good. All Disneyland employees under Michael Eisner's authority right. could not wear, there was a belt that had Mickey Mouse written on it. He had to wear the belt that had Mickey Mouse's face on it. They didn't want anything because they wanted the children to see it. I disagree. What do you yeah, think it was? was a terrible bluff. What the hell? It was just a big bluff. It was absolutely uh, jewelry, pathetic. No, no, no. You know what it was? No, it's kind of interesting. It was uh, hair. It's mustaches, it beards, mustaches. sideburns, yeah. goatees, yeah. facial hair. Yeah. You got the bluff. All right, over to you, dear. There you go. Go ahead, Diane. Bob Eubanks, please. <laughs> Thank you, Diane. Peter! Now listen, we've got. First. I'll bet you, Peter, is this the first time you've ever done this show with long pants on? <laughs> Or, you or, may be right. I know. With any pants on. I'll tell you, Peter used to wear tennis shorts. Yes, I did. And then suits on the top. My legs were awfully cute in those days. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we're hey, glad Bob, you have long pants on. Uh, FirstScience.com yeah. says about 60% of all American babies are named after what? After they're born. No. <laughs> no. Oh. no. Named after famous people. I disagree. No, they're named after relatives who could be famous people, but yeah. you couldn't accept that. You were on the board. We have a commercial word. We're going to be right back after this. Good plan. Thank you. Paul in. For 250 bucks. Paul, true or false? Your teeth are about the same size and shape as a pig's. <laughs> <laughs> Look who's talking, beaver face. <laughs> Promotional consideration furnished by the following.